going on guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with my Raspberry Pi 3 running RetroPie 4.0 and I want to test out some PlayStation 1 games. Now I have a few listed here. I tried to put the other discs in because this is a four disc game, but they're not showing up. I'm not sure what that's about. I need to figure this out before I start playing some Final Fantasy for you guys. So right now we're just going to test some basic games. We're going to do Bloody Roar, Crash Bandicoot 3, Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon, and Tekken 3. We'll start with Bloody Roar. So I am using a wired Xbox 360 controller. I had my PS3 Bluetooth controller tied up with a different project right now. So do an arcade mode. And I gotta say, this emulator runs amazingly on the Raspberry Pi 3. Alice, the rabbit. The wolf. So there's no doubt in my mind that we have full speed emulation with this game. I mean, it runs very, very well. Sweet. Start and select will exit you back out. We'll go for Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. So by the end of the weekend, I will be doing some multi-disc games with the Raspberry Pi 3 and RetroPie 4.0. I just need to do a little bit more research. Now, in previous versions of RetroPie, I was able to play some multi-disc Final Fantasy games by saving before I had to switch out discs and it would load right up to where I needed to be when I switched the disc. But um, I can't get the other disc to show up, so I'm not sure. And we'll go over this way. The Boneyard. There we go. I got my uh, buttons a little mapped weird. Oh, man. I didn't want to play this one. All right, good. I couldn't remember if it was the whole game that did that or the whole level that did that. So, yeah, I guess the floors are normal. I don't really remember it from the original PlayStation. Let me know in the comments below. Does it look like this on the floor? It looks a little odd. I know, I guess it's supposed to be water, but... This looks a little weird to me right now. But the game runs amazing. And we've really had good luck with the PlayStation emulator on most versions of RetroPie. They have all run pretty much the same, but over time, the cores get updated and the performance increases. 
So just like the N64 core on this new RetroPie 4, a lot of the games work a lot better than they ever have before. What do I do here? Oh yeah. Looking really good. Oh. And he's coming back for me. Oh, well, as you guys see, runs really well. We'll exit back out. Next up, Spyro Year of the Dragon. So I don't think we're going to have any trouble running this game here. Let me go find my dragon babies. I want a real dragon. I don't want a lizard or a bearded dragon or anything. I want a real genetically engineered dragon. Sunny Villa. So you really shouldn't have any problem running this on your Raspberry Pi 2 also. I do have a Raspberry Pi 2. It's tied up in an arcade machine project that I'm working on. It's just hard to find time to finish anything up. And I'm close to being done. I will be making a video in the next, I'd say, two weeks. Actually, by the 21st of September, I will have it finished. And um, yeah, it looks really good right now. I know a lot of you have probably seen my video on the build of it. I just had to finish it up, add the marquee logo and that good stuff. I think it came out beautiful. I also have another smaller project that I'm working on. It's a very tiny portable Raspberry Pi arcade. Now I say Raspberry Pi, but I could use a different single board computer in it. I was thinking about running Android, but RetroPie and Recallbox just work so well that um, it's, it's hard to go back to anything else. So yeah, this runs really good. Baby dragon number two. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. Now, we used to play Spyro for hours, me and my uh, buddy growing up. We'd wake up super early before we got on the bus just to play some PlayStation games and some N64 games. All right, so yeah, you can see this runs really, really well. Back out of this one. We got one more to try, Tekken 3. Now I know these have been overplayed on the Raspberry Pi, but they work really well, and I just want to show you guys the performance of RetroPie 4.0. I will be doing some Final Fantasy stuff this weekend. If you have any requests for multi-disc games, as long as I get everything working correctly, I will be able to make a couple videos. So. If you want to see a game running on this, leave a comment down below. I 
I'd have to say this is definitely running at 60 FPS. If not, it's very, very close. I don't notice any drop frames at all. Ooh. Come on, buddy. There we go. Do one more round here and then we'll get out of here. Yoshimitsu. I know a lot of you out there love playing with him. I suck at Tekken. I just I always choose Eddie, the super cheap character. Come on, come on. Get out of here, buddy. There we are. So yeah, another game runs very well. And I will tell you, most of the Final Fantasy games run flawlessly. It's just the disc swapping issue that I've run into. And now I'm not seeing my second disc, even though it's on my SD card. I'll figure it out this weekend, guys, and I will make a video. If you have any requests for any games running on the PlayStation emulator or any other emulator, leave a comment down below. I do appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe because I got a lot more coming. And like always, thanks for watching.